here, right? So I want. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Couldn't start this episode without trying to have a little bit of humor, or at least attempt to have a little bit of humor, I guess. <laughs> As you can get it, we're probably working on the exhaust today, right? Um, if this is the first time you guys are joining us, basically what's going on is we took a pile of, uh, or two, snowmobile engines, merged them into one, and now we got this monstrosity of a 1200cc two-stroke engine. Wicked. So, we're getting a lot done here. We're getting, like, I'm looking at the, at the sled right now there, so we're getting a whole lot of work done. And basically what we have left to do here is the exhaust system. That was a huge one, huge one on my list. That's, that's going to happen. Cooling system needs to get done. Our carburetors need to get set up. And then afterwards, we just need to put everything together. It's going to be sweet. We're going to have a little bit of a shorter episode on this one here. Um, I was planning initially, by the way, this is future me. I was planning initially to do the exhaust and the cooling system in one video. That turned out that would have been like a 45 minute video. So what I'm gonna do for you guys, I broke it down to two videos. So this one is gonna release at the time you watch it. And the next one is gonna release two days or three days after the initial one. So they'll be really close together. And it's just to make uh, a little bit of like more bite-sized information for you guys, right? So uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Oh God, this hat is getting gross, man. Anyways, so we're gonna have to start with trying to figure out where exactly the exhaust is gonna go, right? So try to figure it out uh, which angle I'm gonna have to get to make everything work. So uh, it worries me a little bit because tune pipes obviously are very, very calibrated. They're kind of like what a camshaft does in, actually they're not kind of, they are what a camshaft does in, ter in terms of performance on a four stroke engine, right? So they decide, dictate, assist, whatever the hell you want to call it, in where the engine will make its power, right? So its power band is dictated by what shape and how far the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, it gets something else. That tune pipe is something else, right? So obviously a little reluctant into cutting it, but I think once we have all that done, if we don't change the distances, um, in the sense that if we only change the angles and don't add or remove material, we should be able to keep the same profile. Now, obviously we got an extra cylinder there. So a lot of this is going to be trial and error. We're going to put it together. Well, we're going to put it together. Oh yeah. Like it's just going to magically fall apart. <laughs> apart? No, it doesn't fall apart. It falls together. What am I saying? Let's get to fitting this thing. You had already seen me cut the uh, the tune pipe here, right? So I wanted to basically move this a little bit more than what it was. So having a third cylinder, obviously, the issues I have here is that the pipes are all gonna be different lengths. So by moving this a bit more this way, it gives the last one here a bit more of a chance of being uh, the same length, if you will, as the other ones. What I plan on doing right now is I'm gonna take the Y pipe, I'm gonna cut off one of the sections. What I want basically is to leave this where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna bolt it to the cylinder. This is gonna stay where it's gonna be or where I dictate this is gonna be, but I need a reference basically. So by having this in place, it gives me a reference for where to start putting this. So we'll go ahead and cut that and then we'll get going. After cutting what I needed from the Y pipe here, I just went and I moved it basically as far as I could and then put it in line with the center cylinder. And then I just tacked it in place right now so it wouldn't move and then it's on the number one. So basically when these two other cylinders are connected, then I can cut this off and finish the last little bit. What I'm gonna do for now is connect the center cylinder to here. All right, pretty simple here. So what I'm doing is I'm using two inch exhaust pipe. It's exactly the same size as what's been used right now for uh, the factory stuff, right? So I have the flange here. It's welded in place or just, sorry, it's tacked in place so it doesn't move. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of using the center here to line that up. And 
ever so slowly. I'm coming in and I'm just clip chipping away at this uh, this mandrel roll here, if you will, and then I'm gonna tack that in place, and then I'll be good for that one. Murphy just told me something. He said the engine is speaking to me, Daddy. Hmm. Well, I guess you might as well do it. All right, bit of an idea of what I'm getting at here. So I got the first cylinder lined up pretty good. Been working on the second one here. So the second one, wow, is very hot. But uh, basically had this curve going on there so I can get it to, to go in there. Secret with this is just go a little bit at the, uh, a little bit at a time. And when you cut these curves, cut them across the pipe, not diagonal on the pipe because it'll mess up your dimensions. So we'll keep working on this and I'll give you some updates as I go. All right, so the second piece mounted up here and then there's a bit of a gap but that doesn't really matter uh, in the sense that I still have to take all these apart anyways and cut this out and then I can just put a little piece across here to kind of join sausage fingers to kind of join all three later on. I'm going to worry about that once this part is there. So for right now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tack it to here and I might tack it to this one at the same time so it doesn't move and then cut these tacks, remove that side and start on this one. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. So this pipe's in, this pipe's in. Yes, there's a gap there, but what I'm planning to do is basically just close all this off to make sure everything, whoops, to make sure everything flows properly. Same thing on the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but I put like a diffuser here because this whole edge is gonna get rolled back out here and I wanna help the pulses go back into this one. So I put this kind of diffuser thing there. All right, we'll take it off and then we'll weld it up. Well, this is the work of a few hours here. So these are the two kind of original cylinders, if you will, and that's the third one. This is also the one that has a straightest shot. Well, no, it's a lie, actually. I guess it'd be this one here, but uh, it has a pretty gradual kind of curve here. I made sure of that. And then inside, I put, the inside's not cleaned up yet, so bear with me. I put diffusers in there, so this one here, these things. This is to try and help the pulse go back that way. And then there's another one. Oh, they're hard to see. You can kind of see down in there. Anyways, there's another one in there. So that's to, to help the pulses go back. Two strokes are very, very reliant on their tune pipe sending back uh, pulses. And uh, yeah, anyways, clean that up. Give it a coat of paint and then put it on there. You're basically just putting on little tabs there for the springs. You need to hold the exhaust out. Part that kind of sucks though is I have to put them on top and below. So the top ones will be easy. Obviously everything that's below is going to be pretty terrible to put on, but kind of the only place I can put it unfortunately. So we'll just deal with it when it comes to it. All right, folks, we're starting to look like an exhaust again. So I know where this exhaust goes because there's a wear pattern. You kind of see it down there. So I have our header in there. It just clears, it'll be fine. Then I put our piece of pipe that we cut off earlier in there. I re-welded all these. I got a spring on the top and a spring on the bottom. Now what we have to do is to close up this gap, if I can get in there. There we go. You have to keep in mind, two strokes are very, very sensitive to the distance everything is from the actual expansion chamber down here. So what I'm gonna do, I've already checked it out. 
all the metal that I've cut out of here already would perfectly fit this gap. The only problem is I cut it in two or three slices. So I just kind of roughly put it on there with a piece of tape and I can tell it's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tack as much as I can so this doesn't move. Then afterwards I'm going to cut another little piece of stainless or something, the same um, size as this sliver, this pie cut if you will. Cap that all up and then our exhaust is gonna be done. So did a little template here with some cardboard, just roughly tacked in for now. I got a little short on that side, but it doesn't really matter, I'll just fill that in. So now we're just gonna put it on, make sure everything fits, and then get her welded. Ah, yes. So as you can tell, the exhaust fits perfectly. Now, JK, the exhaust. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. I'm disappointed. Nothing even rubs. God, that's gross. Well, that was the exhaust system. So, reminder, this is a little bit of a shorter one because if I would have put everything together, it would have been a monstrosity of an episode. So i rather break into two little shots. The next episode you will see will be very shortly, like days after this one here. So I just have to wrap up a few things there and send that out. That being said, I'm super happy you guys have joined us on this one. Oh, this is getting so close. It might seem like I'm pretty far away, but future me right now <laughs> knows where I am. And uh, it is a lot closer than a lot of people think, I'll tell you that. <laughs> if there's anything you guys want to see more of as well, make sure you let me know. There was a gentleman in the comments that mentioned he would like to see more weld setup and more just you know welding in general right so i might do a little episode on that at some point if there's a bit of a bit more interest obviously and then you know what any other uh, subject that you guys might be interested in go ahead and leave it in the comments also if you enjoyed this just leave a comment in general it's always good to read that stuff and if you didn't like it make sure to leave a comment <laughs> your man porter here we're going to sign out here for the next little bit Really hope you guys are gonna hit the old subscribe button, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. It helps me tremendously. We'll see you on the next one.